Hello YouTube, WW Solo Trucker here again. This is the second video on the One Tigress Patrol Belt. Um, I showed you before that I added these uh, little straps, suspenders things, kind of like a chest rig. I'm out here at uh, City Park here locally and I'm gonna go walk on the trail for a little bit, leave the Colorado pickup truck here and see how it goes. Be right back. Now the park was closed, but that was just for the boat ramp. I don't have a boat. I hope the sun isn't shining too much. I just parked a truck on the outside of the gate and you can still have access to the trail that runs along the river and in the woods here. Over the river and through the woods. How about that? <laughs> Isn't that the name of a Led Zeppelin song? <laughs> okay, I'm noticing right away that um, it is a lot better than it was before. A whole lot better wearing. You get a shot of the of the setup. I've got the vest on too. Get around the side. Here and this side. This other side. I got my vest on as well and I've also got the uh, true spec pants on. Um, we're just walking down this little trail here. It's been very wet and rainy here lately, but today the weather decided to cooperate and the sun came out really nice. came out for a little bit yesterday, but not quite as much. There's the lake back behind us. It's part of uh, the lake system here in the north part of Burlington. Um, got my boonie cap on too. Okay. A few items in there I remember showing you guys. Um, I'm just gonna walk around this trail a little bit, see what it's like. It's it's a pretty soft trail, you know, dirt. What's well, kind of muddy right now, but uh, it's dirt. There's there's a few ups and downs, but it's not real steep. There's not a lot of rocks and roots. The city maintains this trail pretty good. There's a little hill behind me. I don't know if you can see that or not, but then we'll see how this goes with this new suspender setup I got on here. Um, I need to make a few more alterations to it. I had to move the straps. I don't know if you can see that here. They were back here further. I had to move them over here. I still need to move them a little bit further in. Well, let's see. They were back over here, but I moved them here. As you can see, they're still wanting to come out the side. I mean, they're staying all right, you know. I could probably move pretty quickly in this little setup here. And like I told you before in the other video, it's probably 15 pounds, you know. Maybe, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, give or take. But uh, I'm going to walk down this chair for a little bit and see how it goes, and I'll report back in just a few minutes. Hang tight. Can't see much of the trail here, can you? <laughs> it's here.
can tell we've had a lot of rain lately with all the muddy looking water. Little turtle. He's actually a pretty good sized turtle. <laughs> Just can't tell from this shot. Sticking his snout out of the water to breathe and smell stuff. Well, this must be the land of fallen trees. <laughs> I mean, look over here. All over the place. All up on that hill up there. Imagine what happens is um, when we get heavy rain around here, it erodes this down here because it's naturally going down towards the water down this hill. I'm moving kind of fast, sorry. But it just uh, erodes away the trees and when they get too old they rot away. There's a nice little upturned one there. See, they cut it over there for the trail. Just more overturned trees. I think that's a cedar tree right there. Pines and oaks and whatnot. Here's a big one here. Get a little closer to it. I just walked into a spider web. Ugh. That's taller than me. That root system. Okay, something I wanted to point out here real quick. Here in uh, the United States, probably in other countries as well, they have these things called blaze markers. Get a little bit closer to it here. And uh, this one is actually a piece of plastic or something. Most of the time, they are just paint that is like swatched onto a, a tree trunk or a rock or something to let you know the direction of the trail. And they're color coded for which trail. This is the Hall River Trail. It's not a very long trail, but uh, maintained by probably Alamance County as well as Town of Hall River in the city of Burlington, depending on what part of it you're in at the time. But if you're ever lost in the woods and you see one of these, follow it and you will come out somewhere to where you'll find civilization. This is a section where I'm sure they raised it up. This was probably just a big gully that washed down into the uh, lake. Let me walk up a little bit further up and you can see a little bit more. You can see over there, it's like a big gully that comes down in here. And they just built up a little earthen dam for people to walk across on this trail. Pretty cool. Here's another one of them blaze markers. Ah, now this was what I was looking for here. Yeah, I've been out here for about an hour now. Yeah, look at that. Nice little log. And look at this. I'm pretty sure it was intentionally placed because this is a wonderful view. Here, let me set this camera down and uh, sit down for a little bit and we'll talk for a minute. Okay, a couple more impressions here. On this belt setup I got. I don't know if you can see it there or not. Got my cell phone over here on the side, my iPhone 6 Plus. Um, 
there's all kinds of places to, to strap stuff on this on this belt and also these pouches as well um, like I said before a huge difference a huge difference I've walked probably close to a mile and uh, although the ground has been pretty soft nice and easy to walk on um, it hasn't been level and there's been a lot of roots that I've been going over not nearly as rough is when I was up in the mountains before I told you about a trip that I took up into the mountains um, that I used this belt before I had these suspenders on I still need to do a little bit more adjustment to them but it's gonna be really minor stuff you know it's not gonna be anything uh, major that I'm going to have to you know tear it all apart and everything. I just need to add a clip in the back to where the straps cross see they keep falling down <laughs> to where they cross to keep the cross point higher up on my back to keep this from happening I'm hoping that will do that but right now I'm going to have a little bit of water and enjoy this view of the lake here I'll turn the camera around you can check it out my canteen is sweating just a little bit but the water is still nice and cold One little hint, if you're out and you're really tired and been sweating a lot, when you stop to take some water, take a little swig, swish it around your mouth and spit it out, just to rinse your mouth out, and then take you a nice good little drink. I believe that was a train. That's a big oak tree right there. Walk up a little bit closer to it. You can see just how big it is. Staying about three or four feet away from it, and it takes up the entire camera at full wide angle. It's about four feet across. Huge, there's a big stump. It was rotten, that's probably why they cut it down. There's a wedge they took out of it. See, there's a piece of wedge they took out of it right there so when they cut it down it would fall in the direction they wanted it to go in hey there's a rock that's the first rock I've seen on this trail it's a pretty good size one too all right let's go picnic table back area right there some geese coming out into the sunlight you can see the kind of a boat harbor or launch area 
harbor. Listen to me, the big harbor in Hall River, yeah. That's uh, just a boat launch area, city park. They still haven't opened the gates up yet. Maybe they'll do it at like one o'clock or so, but I'm gonna avoid the rush and get on out of here. I gotta go visit some family today, so, because it is Mother's Day and I need to go see my mom. So, uh, I'll do a follow-up and probably a loadout video of this trail belt. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Back to Colorado.